the one seriously injured. Thank God. What's up guys? This is Mad Squash 924 here. Welcome back to Dead Island Riptide. This is part 11, I believe, of our Let's Play thus far. And we um kind of got betrayed Marcus. by Marcus in the we last need to stay episode. Focused. Figure out a way through these tunnels. As he was saying. However, we do have a side quest to actually take care of Marcus. Find and stop Marcus Villa from hurting anyone else. And that is there. Is that the Mak Makatai village? Yeah, I think it is. So we can actually take care of that now. It's very simple, very easy to do. Uh, Mataka. The Mataka village. This village Am I right? Totally wiped out. Cool. Um, I was also gonna buy some stingray tails and suicide meat, but if this guy's here and the other guy isn't, then that kind of sucks. Killing me will not set you free. Shut up. Where's the other guys? I kind of wanted to talk to them, to be honest. Whatever. So, you came after me, I see. You think I'm dangerous. I need to put you down before you hurt anybody else. And now I must die. Can't you see what I was trying to do? Yeah, eat us. That's pretty freaking messed up. Whoa, you attacked first. You attacked first. And I finished you because of that. Shit. Crazy Jeez. fucking bitch. I know, right? Well, um, he's dead. And I'll take his machete. Why not? Kind of sucks. I really was hoping to be shopkeeps here, but there isn't any. That kind of sucks. Well, I guess we can go back and talk to Harlow, I guess. Back at uh, Paradise Survival Camp? No. Excuse me. Halai Village. We should talk. All right. Please go look Marcus dealt friends. with. You freaking suck, Marcus. You're the worst. We need to talk about Dr. Kessler. I know sure. you're worried about Dr. Kessler, but he's not like Marcus. Dr. Kessler spent years assisting the World Health Organization and did groundbreaking research on how viruses mutate when they come into contact with external factors. And sure, he might be a tad eccentric, but who isn't these days? Yeah, well, you better be right, because I've had my fill of crazy-ass scientists doing crazy shit. Trust me, he's a good man. He wouldn't harm a fly. Are you ready to go? Okay, way of science. Explore the research laboratory and find Dr. Kessler. I will get it like a harpoon gun. That's kind of cool. I'll give her a shot. Good. All right. They keep us out there for what? Go to the research laboratory. We can also do the side mission there too. Uh, surplus. That means. Now, what is the best way to get there? Hmm. What is this area? Malik's Marina. I guess we'll fast travel there and then run the rest of the way, I suppose. Merrick's Marina. That's what it is. I mean, it is quicker. But, uh... I just gotta deal with these dumb guns. No, thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get my bearings. Okay, I think I've had enough of this place. Let's just go. Um, that's the wrong way. Shit. All right, we're out of here. And there is a truck nearby. We're a car, which is good for us. Thankfully. All right. Well, let's go to the laboratory. And see what awaits us there. Hopefully, awesome stuff. 
I of course will complete the sign mission there when I get there to the lab. I will do that yeah. first. That's first priority, That's of it. course. Ooh, chapter four, science news daily and a level up, which is very welcome. All right, let's take a look at our new skills. Um, throwing range. Oh, wow, that's done. That's cool. Um, neat. I don't have to work towards it, that means. That's good. Um, how does one, ah, through here. Chapter four, Science News Daily. Ammunition is priceless. So use it wisely. Thanks. And Dr. Kessler is also here, supposedly. All right. First things first, um, we are going to go do this one. Surplus. Find the abandoned bunker near the research laboratory. And we'll go head straight there first, actually. Um, what is that? Those mines? What is this? What is this noise? Hey, mine's over here. Yeah, apparently so. That's a little ridiculous, don't you think? What the hell? Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. Um, awesome. I know what to expect now. Let's just, just, just freaking go. <sighs> um, the mines better despawn when I uh, run through them. That's all I'm saying right now. Perhaps there's a better method than what I am trying to do. Let me open What's this puppy here? up. Nope, just crap. All right. Jeez. They're all going off. This is ridiculous. I mean, we made a past. Is there more in here? Really hope not. Kind of sounds like it, though. Doesn't it? Of course there is. Well, I'm not gonna screw with that. Jeez, where'd you come from? Uncalled for. Well, I don't know what to do here. I mean, what are we here for again? Retrieve a weapon from Maya, for Maya from the bunker. Oh, these? Sure. Molotovs? Sure. Also, what's so special about this stupid bunker? It's not- this does not have anything worth anything in it for us. Like, definitely not. How does one disarm that? There's a ladder. Oh boy. This is ridiculous. Ooh. We knew we couldn't stay with Dr. Kessler. We asked him to come with us, but he's determined to stay. I don't know, maybe we can send help for him once we reach Henderson. There's a military base there, and if there's anywhere that's still safe, that's probably it. The rain has been steady. Oh, and it's coming down harder, and the river is starting to rise. We're all worried the road will wash out before we can make our way there. Oh, the mosquitoes are eating us alive. Tom okay. seems feverish. And I see how the others are looking at him. He says he hasn't been bitten, but this is clearly a bloodborne disease. Couldn't it be transmitted by mosquito? I mean, why would it be any different from malaria or West Nile virus? And if that's true, we all might have it, and any one of us could turn at any moment. That is a possibility. Sonic mines. I guess that's, that's what those are. And we also retrieved a blueprint I saw um, while the recording was going off, so I'll read that as well. Tesla bomb knife mod. 
Below I describe the way to turn a knife into an electric grenade. You throw this contraption at the walking dead. The blade plunges into the rotting meat. And at the same time releases an electric charge that will strike anyone around the hit. Son of a bitch. I should get a Nobel Prize for this invention. I mean, that's fair. What's this? Ah. Well, we got a cult, apparently, and that is the big prize here, supposedly. Um, for doing the deeds that we uh, came here to do. Great. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm glad we got that stuff and we can bring that back to what's her face or what's his face. I don't even remember. Um, that's a good thing. We got it. It was a cult weapon. It was a cult. It was just a gun, you know. No big deal. Could we keep it? Probably not, because it was a quest item. That's what I'm guessing. I could take a look and take a look and see if I can read about it though, perhaps. Because it is a quest item. Quest item. Um, cult. Reliable handgun, exactly what Maya wanted. I mean, yeah, isn't that self-explanatory? And let us do, 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 back to Maya. Ow. Wait, why does it say Maya here? Oh, right. Maya's over there. I had totally forgotten about her location. I thought she would have been back at, like, um, Halanai, uh, village. I am mistaken. She's actually much farther away than I initially thought. Alright, let's go. I guess we take the boat there and then, um, we go back to the main quest, so it seems. I mean, it's not a big deal, unless, of course, uh, Maya wants more stuff for us to do. Then, um, then we're gonna have some problems. But, uh, I don't think that'll actually happen. I think it'll go pretty smoothly. I hope. So far, though, today's episode's been pretty, uh, lax, of course. Um, we are, of course, just doing some, uh, cleanup stuff for when we get ready to go to the laboratory. And we are pretty much ready to go to the lab. Of course, bringing the cult to Maya would be probably most beneficial to us. I would think. Um, I think this is the place. It is. All right. Let's go. Time to bounce. Nope, don't touch me. I got things to do. And, yep, it's in here. Here we go. Hey, what's up, girl? I knew you could do it. Thanks. Let's um, train. We got our Hot Rom mod. Hey, that's a pretty good reward, though, for just doing some side quests. Oh, she's got more to do for us. Well, just give me a second, would you? Um, do, do, do. Hot Rod. The instructions below will allow you to heat up the blade of a machete and the temperature so high you'll be able to cut through the flesh of the walking dead like butter. I advise you to be careful while using it. It can be serious. It can cause serious burns after all. I need some blades. Can you help me? Oh! Femi Fadatale. Maya is looking for blades to experiment with new ways of killing. That sounds like continuous quest if I've ever sure. heard it. Good. If you find some blades, bring them to me. Sure. Uh, let me guess. You're continuous in all the right way. You are. Which is good, because that means we're actually done with you, and we're gonna go back to the laboratory. Talk about half the episode wasted on... Well, not wasted. I mean, we took care of Marcus. And, um... Ooh, nice jump. We took care of Marcus, and, um... Now we're just gonna be going off to, uh, the lab. Of course, Maya did take a little bit of time for us, but besides that, it's really not a big deal. I mean, I'm sure the Hot Rod mod will come in, uh, in handy a lot. I hope. 
regardless, we still got experience points for doing it. So there's not like there was no point for to uh, not do it, of course. there all right let us run the rest of the way i don't know it's like 60 meters away which is like nothing of course there's gonna be a suicide here because there always is right oh there's not this time i like the one time i say there's gonna be one he doesn't show up but of course uh, all the times i don't want him to show up he's always there so whatever nice two minute journey now let's see what Dr. Kessler is up to in the lab. I imagine we use the lab to get to Henderson. I would think. But I don't know, after all. All right, Harlow. All right. I'm at Kessler's see. outpost. All right, find a way in. Oh, great. All Another right. run down shithole. Great. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Run down shitholes. Of course. Logan loves that. It's like his his favorite thing. My favorite thing. Who would have thought it? Place is dump. Hey, the fast travel point. That'll be coming handy at some point, I'm sure. Hope that intercom works. Me too. What's this? Trash. Got it. Kessler, you in there? Who is it? What do you want? I need your help, Kessler. Please, let me in. I am busy doing serious research here. I have no time for visitors. Leave me be. Sir, it, it's about that research. I read your study on Kuru disease, and I, well, I thought it was right on target. I just have a few questions about it. I swear I can't get a moment's peace around here. Very well, come in. Thank you. Well, he doesn't seem too impressed. I mean, at least it let us in because hmm. of Anything that useful? knowledge. But, I don't know. What's this? Newspaper article on Kessler and the Vila's research. Damn, an article about Marcus's research in biology. Kind of impressed. I hope so, because we're going to read it. Is it under quest items? I would think so. Here it is. Kessler and Villa presented their paper on Kuru disease at the International Summit on Emerging Infectious Disease in Atlanta, Georgia in 2010. They are considered the world's foremost experts on neurological disorder, uh, first discovered among the four tribe of Papua New Guinea by Dr. Daniel Carlton Jaiduski in 1957. Gaigusky was awarded with the Nobel Prize in 1976 when he proved Kuru was transmittable to chimpanzees. Kessler's and Villa's work deals with different variants of the disease created by exposure to a wide range of mutagens. Interesting. What's this? Snack. Oh, okay. I thought it was something different. I thought it was like, um, a uh, blueprint or something. This place is pretty nice. I'm just gonna rummage through his stuff a little bit, you know. What the hell? That's disgusting. Wow. Um. Here we go. Oh, you're not what I thought I you were. I had to be some fucked up shit somewhere in here. All right, I let you in. Now tell me what you want. Um, just give me a moment, would you? Um, just want to rummage through your Most stuff and see your diary. Melby and Howard were lost in Kundera. Johnson was attacked by this abomination, and Murphy put a bullet in him as his screams were raising the dead. At least they look and smell bloody dead, but I mean, how can that be? I came from the jungle, from, from everywhere, snarling like hungry animals. Miller panicked and ran into a whole mob of them. They fell on him like rabid dogs, tore him to pieces, and the rest of us barely made it out alive. I was bitten on the shoulder, and the others were sure the infection would take me as well. And soon after we went to sleep, Jenkins tried to murder me. 
Well, I had no choice but to shoot the bloody maniac. All right, I let you in. Now tell me Everyone's scared to death. At this point, I think our only option is Henderson. At least there's a military base there. Most of our families are there as well. I just hope the city's still safe. Huh, interesting. We also got a couple other quest items as well. Um, there's that. It wasn't in here, was it? It was secret file number four. Yes. The field laboratory in Henderson was has been testing the mutagen and the results of those infected have been consistent with Dr. W's research in Benoit and historical records of the Japanese military, what they encountered 50 years earlier. This advanced strain of Kuru is believed to originated in Palanai, but was brought to Benoit by native raiders centuries ago. The effects of the pathogen meter the mutagen with an antigenic shift as multiple strains combined over time, creating what's virtually a super virus and then we have a dr. Kessler's paper on kuru various mutagens seem to affect kuru differently depending on the stage of the illness these mutagens can result in chromosomal instability breakages and even in the modification of the DNA sequence itself the effects of mutagen are accelerated in the recently infected, leading to drastic and somewhat shocking changes in the flesh and organs of those afflicted. The effects of those mutagens on the DNA of those who are immune are unknown. This is due to the lack of adequate test subjects. Huh. Okay. I actually want to try to put some of our other items in here. Um, I guess we put this in there, I suppose. All right, Dr. Kessler, what you I heard you, you know a way to Henderson through the old Japanese tunnels. There aren't any tunnels. Now get out of here. I am a scientist, not a tour guide. Stop wasting my time. Marcus Villa told me about the tunnels. Now, just tell me what I need to know. You saw Marcus. I haven't seen him in ages. He was yeah, brilliant, dead. You know, in his own way. But let us just say there are reasons we no longer work together. Very good reasons. Yeah, well, he tried to eat me, so hearing that you kicked him to the curb isn't a huge shock. He wanted to eat you. That doesn't make any sense. Sure, he went to live with the natives, but they've always struck me as peaceful people. Perhaps he was worse off than I even imagined. But that does not explain why he would resort to cannibalism. I'm immune to the plague, and he thought my flesh was the key to a cure. Wait a moment, are you saying that you are immune to what's happening out there? And then, this certainly changes things, doesn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it does. Yeah, I have a map that you should find helpful. But if you want it, you need to help me with something. I have been researching this disease for many years now. Kuru has been endemic to the indigenous people here for centuries. This outbreak is one of many, and each incident is a little different, as is the trigger that reawakens the plague. It's truly remarkable how this prion disease adapts on changes, how it mutates when exposed to external factors, the speed at which it affects the host organism. Astonishing, really. But science can be unpredictable. Dangerous even, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, I can see the bodies from here, Doc. A truly unfortunate accident, one that was largely the fault of my assistants. I assure you, I had very little to do with what happened out there. Yeah, yeah, tell someone who gives a rip. What do you want from me? I am merely trying to make it clear that I am not an evil man. In times such as these, it is easy for men of science to be blamed, persecuted for their actions. Especially by people who possess lesser minds. My four assistants were in possession of some reagents, chemicals, contained within vials. Unfortunately, those vials are out there in the greenhouse. Bring them to me, and I will give you the map. Do we have a deal? Sure. Let's get a taser? Okay. Dr. Kessler. Help Dr. Kessler with his research. Absolutely. You will probably need to kill all four of them in order to secure the vials. But there is no saving them now. You will be putting them out of their misery. Find that map and okay. have it ready to go. I cannot conduct Makes my sense. tests without the reagents. Shit, what a mess. You 
You got it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of the problem. All right. Now, what do we got? Big problems, clearly. This place is freaking disgusting. Mutated scientist. Okay, and they can spew some crap. That's unfortunate. Oh, hello! I'd rather not throw my weapon if I can help it. Just in case, you know, I don't get it back. Is there a way up there? I hope so. Like, I really do hope so. Uh, it does not appear to be the case. Okay. Oh, this is freaking gross. Where's the stairs that leads upwards? Oh, there's a dude. What's up, dude? Please perish. Yeah, you right. Stairs. I mean, a ladder. Excuse me. That's like stairs. That's uh, as good as a start as any, I suppose, isn't it? All right, up we go. Here, water bomb. Oh, clearly. Great, I don't think I'm getting that weapon back. I just chucked the last one. Uh. Nope, maybe. Oh, I'm so close to reaching it. I don't think I can reach it, though. Uh, it's mine! Please! Aw, oh, frick. Uh-oh. What the hell's down here? Weird. This place is so weird. Well, that would have been a trap if I uh, took the other direction. Would you stop? Oh my goodness. A grenadier. Clearly. The reagent is mine. Thank you. Now we just need three more, I believe. What's a weapon over here? We're a weapons crate. Let's hey, see what's in here. We're taking a look. Sure. I'll take it. Why not? We already take everything else around here. A lot of boomerangs, not a lot of crits today. Kind of annoying, actually. Where does one go from here? Oh, the door did open. Just die. It doesn't seem Got to it. do much, all things considering. You'd think it'd do more. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. All I'm saying is, it doesn't seem like um, the actual grenade throwing doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Which is fine. I'm fine with that, really. Don't think I'm not. It's actually great. This area is just weird, you know? So you're a stronger one. You know, I thought about holding this area, but, um, like that because of the way it's set up, I probably sh shouldn't. I'm gonna say, you know, whoa, what's happening? I'll just do that. That'll get his attention. I need my stuff. No, 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 Maybe I should have ulted. 
do it. They're being annoying. Why am I doing that? Just kill them. It's already irritating enough. Thank you. Got it. Um, where's the rest of my stuff? Thank you very much. Arigatou, saimasta. That reagent is mine. That's the last reagent. All right. Should probably head back. That'd be idealistic. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. What else we got? Nothing. All right. Let's go talk to him. See what's up. Oh, might help to uh, close the door. Don't want anybody, you know, coming in on us talking. All right, Castle, I got the stuff. What's this? Anything useful? Good. 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 Now I can conduct my tests. I only require a sample of your blood. If you don't sure. give me the map, I'm going to feed your ass to your infected pals. Got it? I am doing a poor job of explaining myself. You are clearly immune. That much is certain. But that does not mean that you are safe. There is a strong possibility that the virus is in your body. And if it is, it could mutate. And depending on how it mutates, you could be in grave danger. All I need is a small blood sample. I run a simple test and then we'll know. This is for your own good. All right, go for it. You know, I kind of okay. thought about that you at one feel point. A little prick. Nothing to if, worry if, about. Because we're on a new island and stuff, and this does seem to be a Do different this task for me, and the map is uh, yours. plague um, that it would affect us differently. I did wonder about that. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? If I had a little sweet, I would give you one. When this is all over, You're you need douche. to have your head examined. Hey, you weirdo. I was merely trying to lighten the mood. Oh, I can only see. Take a moment to prepare the sample. Please be patient. Ah, oh, the big patience is happening. Ah, oh, it's so hard to be patient when there's nothing to do. I'm gonna rubbish. I'm gonna rummage through your rubbish can. What is? Don't push me. I've got your results. Thanks. You are completely resistant to the virus. Tell me Good. something I didn't know. No, it is not what you think. Your resistance to the virus has kept it from multiplying, from wreaking havoc on your body. But it has not destroyed the virus. It has merely suppressed it. You need to be hmm. very careful. Any contact with certain types of reagents could trigger a mutation. And if the virus mutates, it stands to reason that you could lose your immunity. Or much, much, much worse. Unfortunately, there are so many factors to consider that it is impossible for me to tell you exactly what might happen. But one thing is clear. You should avoid anything that would put you at risk. What do you mean? Your plan was to use the tunnels to reach Henderson, correct? Yes, the Japanese created them during World War II, and later they were used to store chemical weapons. In the 50s, during a monsoon, there was a leak, and some of those chemicals worked their way into the water. The Aussies sent in a battalion of engineers and soldiers to clean them up, but they weren't successful. When they went into the tunnels, one of them must have been infected. The virus mutated and all hell broke loose. The Aussies had to blow the entrances to prevent the infection from spreading. Most of the men were still down in the tunnels. I have long suspected that exposure to those chemicals is what caused the infected soldier to mutate. Anyway, you need to find the old Jesuit mission. A passageway runs from the ruins down into the tunnels. Here is the map, as I promised. I cannot stop you from going down there. That is your decision. But if you do, use an abundance of caution. Try to avoid prolonged exposure to the chemicals. I wish you best of luck. Thanks. Okay. That sounds crazy, by the way. Harvo, um, answer the see. radio. Thank God. Yep, I that's what I was wondering. Did you get the map from Kessler? Yeah, I got it. Gonna be a pain going through the tunnels, though. You can fill me in when we meet up. Where are you going now? To find the entrance to the tunnels. Will you help me with one important matter? 
Oh, um, sure. I'll help you real quick. What do quick. you need? We need more data for my research if I'm going to be able to help you. If you're heading to the tunnels, please be observant. Bring me whatever unusual you find there, will you? Okay, history lesson. Learn about the history of the old tunnels under the jungle. We'll get a golf club. You got it. Excellent. There might be a strange substance or, or a monster that you have not seen before. Maybe some trace from the Australian force. Hmm. Interesting. That sounds different. All right. So we uh, we did a lot of stuff. Um, go back to the jungle. Go to Henderson. Wait until you gain access to the tunnels. That's fair. Um, I'm going to end today's episode here. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode of Dead Island Riptide where... We got to the laboratory, we did the side mission, we got the pistol for Maya, and uh, we also killed Marcus in the very beginning. And well, and then we talked to Kessler, and, and uh, he told us what to uh, look out for in the tunnels. Hopefully, he is a little bit wrong and we're fine, but I have a sneaking suspicion he, Dr. Kessler, is correct. No, don't, don't talk to me. Um, if you guys liked today's episode, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me you guys think of today's episode in general. Um, if you're new to my channel or uh, you've been watching me for a little while but you haven't done so and if you're interested in this Let's Play, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below as well. And um, I'll see you all in the next episode of Dead Island Riptide where I'm guessing we're going in the tunnels at this point. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.